Mr. Medicare had a question for you, and he said, "What is your guest guest opinion on dilation stations, Ralph? Should they be mandatory at all public events?" I don't know what that is. Um, you know what dil dilation is, right? Or maybe I don't. Um, want, I'm not. Telling I, I actually, them. I actually wasn't familiar with it until I don't know, maybe a month or so, six weeks ago. Um, I know the, the eyeball is the only thing I'm thinking of. When yeah, I well, it's kind of. I guess it derives from that word. So basically, um, when you, um, you know, is it, is it a, a gay thing? Uh, Mr. Parker said, "Explain." In a matter of speaking, it's incredibly gay. Explain, explain yeah. in detail, Ralph. That's what Jim said. Um, so <laughs> when when you have a uh, sex change surgery uh, and you have a penis beforehand, and they do whatever oh. they do. They they turn it inside out, whatever the fuck they do. Um, yeah. you're basically left with the with the false vagina, and it's your body. You know, treats it as a as an open wound, pretty much. So in because order it to is. Yeah, and so in order to keep that thing, uh, you know, ready to ready to go, DTF there, you have to uh, <coughs> insert your little. I don't know if it's, it's a dildo or like a glass tool or something. You have to insert in, in there a certain many times a week, uh, and even then it gets it gets uh, infected pretty often. And I won't go into the uh, hairball issue that uh, I saw Jim tweeting about uh, yesterday. That was. Uh, it's the guy. World Health Organization declares gaming addiction a mental illness. Video games make you go crazy? Fucking what? Look at look at all these articles. How many fucking outlets wrote about this? They're even videos. Fucking Christ. But what possible observable behavior could a psychologist have witnessed to lead them to this conclusion? What deviant action makes them believe that video games are a detriment to your mental health? That's my girlfriend Alyssa, and today is a really special day for her. It's the two-year anniversary of when she started her transition. So could I get a round of applause for her? Hey, Games Done Quickly's back. Who doesn't love speedrunning? I do. I think we all do. And Games Done Quickly does it right. It ticks all the little boxes that you'd want it to tick. Awkward social interactions. Check. So confirmed Santa's number one helper is a squirrel. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. Brat fetishists sniffing the chairs of lonely girls that accidentally sit down next to them without a restraining order in place or a personal security guard? Check. Oh yeah, give it a sniff a -roo. Oh, save it the flavor. Every single year, I look forward to this because it is the most progressive, inclusive, safe atmosphere that you could want to get a world record in Zelda. Now, a lot of other events, they're not forward-thinking enough to take care of the needs of their community. But games done quickly, they are. They go that extra step to ensure that everybody has a good time. Because nothing says good time more than making sure people can't comment on any of their streams. Now, sure, some of you may be saying, hey, wait a minute. I'm not going to say anything offensive. I'm a, I'm a PC kind of guy. Why can't I say something? We need to make sure that things are proper. Even if that means occasionally the good guys can't get their message out. By the way, you can still meet. I need those pills. If you got the pills, meet me there. Now, in years past, people have been able to say some pretty offensive shit. Like, look at this guy. This guy right here. Can you believe he had an emoticon on his Twitch chat that was targeting these beautiful, brave butterflies? Can you believe that? Look at that asshole. Having a emoticon about himself, about something that he did that happened to be offensive to them. Fuck him. Get rid of him. Can't, can't let people have Twitch emoticons that might offend you. It's part of the reason we ban the chat. Good times, open, inclusive, nobody can talk. And nobody can use an emoticon. Might be offensive. But even with all that, even with all that, all the progress that we've made, people are still bringing their transphobia to this fucking event. And that's got to stop, okay? That needs to fucking stop. I mean, look at this bigoted asshole. First of all, the first question I've got, what got you into speedrunning, just in general? I always like to ask about people that. So, uh, Cosmo Wright and Siglemic were my two like biggest inspirations speedrunning. Way back when, they were like, the, in my eyes, the two big like giants, basically. Like, they really, they were huge in the community. They. They were good at their games. It was really impressive to watch them. Thanking Cosmo for getting him into this. First of all, don't dead name them. All right, everybody noticed. Look at these comments. Queer Queenie, okay, called you on your bullshit. Dead naming somebody. You did it intentionally. If you don't know who Narcissa 
Not Cosmo, asshole. Narcissa Wright is. Here they are talking about their transition. I'm out of my, out of my mind, out of my fucking mind. I'm, I'm out of my fucking mind, out of my fucking mind. My, 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 I'm out of my fucking mind. But this asshole, he's got to dredge up the past. What a dick. That's not something you make fun of. Maybe you haven't read the new policy that's in place. All right, there's a dilation schedule now. Because sometimes, when you're going for that Zelda world record, you gotta cough up a hairball. <laughs> but no, he's gotta be hes gotta be one of those guys that shows up to the event and just ruins it for everybody. Doesn't even read the fucking policy. The dilation policy. People are acting like this is something they're unfamiliar with. All right, it's right in the event rules. Dilation policy. But no. No, not that guy. Not Mr. Dead Name him. Mr. Dead Name, beautiful and brave Narcissa Wright. It's guys like this that have ruined the event for everybody. They've created a toxic atmosphere. It's even driven away the cosplayers. I have not seen Ben Franklin once this year. Just last year, hasn't even shown up again. All right, this kind of dickhead makes it impossible for knitting to get a round of applause anymore. I believe your knitting deserves a great round of applause. Yeah. For That's right, you fucking hug her. She's a world-class knitter. Games done quickly is not meant for you to have fun. Okay, let me make that clear. You don't get to show up and sit on a couch and entertain people with a speed run that's both informative and funny. Cracking jokes with your friend and all around having an enjoyable time. You're not forming memories here. We are making sure that this is a inclusive, safe space for the people that need it to be. So you take your racist apparel, okay, Mr. Mega Hat, and you go to another event. Games Done Quickly is about one thing and one thing only. Making some motherfucking money.